Hello, everyone. This is the New Rules Podcast, and I am your host, Dimitri Symes Jr. We have Judge Andrew Napolitano, host of the Judging Freedom Podcast on YouTube. Judge, it's great to have you on the program. Dimitri, it's always a pleasure to work with you, my friend, and it's an honor for me to join your show. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think let's get started with the simple fact that it's been more than eight weeks since the start of the Ukrainian counteroffensive. A lot of Western money and a lot of Western training has gone into preparing this counteroffensive. But so far, we're seeing Ukrainian troops struggle to breach even the first Russian defensive line. From a purely political standpoint, how problematic is the current situation for the Biden administration? Well, the Biden administration, through uh, the American Central Intelligence Agency and British uh, MI6 uh, has uh, succeeded in taming the press. So the press, uh, the American media, even my uh, friends and former uh, colleagues at Fox uh, are giving um, a, a version of these events, which is not uh, based in reality uh, on the ground. The version of events that Americans are getting is that the so-called spring offensive, even though we're now in the middle of the summer, uh, is slow, uh, methodical, uh, but but a steady movement eastward uh, by the Ukrainian forces. Whereas in reality, as you just uh, pointed out, the uh, Russian military has established three rungs of defenses and the Ukrainians haven't even approached, much less breached, the first of those three uh, rings. So the American public is not getting a true and accurate uh, view of the so-called uh, spring effects offensive from mainstream media. On my podcast, Judging uh, Freedom, uh, where we have a number of ex-CIA and ex-military harshly critical of the current CIA and the current um, uh, US government are, are, I believe, giving a far more accurate version of what's happening in there. So if the American public thinks that the Ukraine offensive will eventually work, then they might uh, reward uh, President Biden if he runs for re-election. It's another version, another story we can get to in a few minutes if you want to, the if. If he runs for re-election, the American public might very well uh, reward him uh, if there is some ability to show uh, some uh, success. Uh, but that would be based upon uh, a false narrative. In my view, based on the people that I consult, Scott Ritter, whom I think you know, uh, and Colonel Doug McGregor, whom I think you know, Larry Johnson and Ray McGovern, I think you know them uh, as well. It is inconceivable, inconceivable that the uh, Ukraine military uh, can prevail. Well, the American public doesn't know that. 